There are two parts to getting the Simulacranium player up and running. When you order the free player app from us, you'll receive two links. Download the files in those links and save them to your computer. I'm running a Windows system, but we're also Mac friendly. So if you have a Mac, you'll receive a .dmg file for the installation of VirtualBox. I've saved these onto my desktop just so they were easy to find and demonstrate. So let's open the player folder. You'll only have two files. The Windows is the bottom one. So let's double click VirtualBox to install it. This should look familiar to anyone who's ever installed a program before. Just follow the directions for the initial setup as you can see in my desktop. Now this will take a few minutes to install depending on the speed of your computer. VirtualBox is a free tool from Oracle, so you could download this part yourself. If you do, please note that we've optimized version 5.1 to the Simulacranium player, so that is the version that you should download. VirtualBox has just put an icon on our desktop and I'm about to drag it into view on our screen. You'll want to go ahead and double click it. And at this point we have to make sure that the VirtualBox is configured properly. So under Preferences, click on Updates. You're going to want to make sure that you uncheck the Check for Updates box and click OK. Now we'll have to import the Simulacranium player into the VirtualBox in order for the player to work. So what we'll do is click on the Import Appliance and then the new box will click up. Then make sure you put find the right folder. I'll put this in my desktop and so I just click on the My Player folder. You'll see the only viable file is to open the SC file. Click on that next. Be sure to click on the box Reinitialize the MAC address of all network cards. This is really important. Then click Import. You'll see our license agreement. Be sure to agree to that, of course. Then as it, we agree, you can close our folder just to tidy up the desktop and we just have to wait for the installation. Again, the speed of the installation will depend on the speed of your computer.
Next, in order for your simulation to play, it has to be in a folder that the virtual machine can see. We have set up a shared folder for you. All you have to do is create a folder anywhere in your computer with the same name as we have given the shared folder in order for the virtual machine to see it. It is important that you have the name correct. To find that, highlight the SE player that you've just installed and click Settings. Feel free to have the look through, but ultimately you want to make sure that you click on the shared folder when I click on the folder and the information to the right, you can see the folder name sc.shared. This is what you need to name your folder on your computer in order for the player to import your scenario files. Once you see the name and create the folder on your computer, then you can cancel out of that setting. Now you're back to the main VirtualBox start page. Anytime you open up the Oracle VirtualBox, this is what you see. To run the Simulcranium player, just click Start. Now, the first time that you try and run the player after seeing it, you may see this error message. This is just because it's not automatically seeing your network settings. It's an easy fix. You just click on the Change Network Settings button and make sure that your network card is selected. Most people will only have one network card. If you have two, be sure to select the correct one. And these settings are as they should be and you click OK. Now your virtual box will open. Now, this can take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your computer. When it gets to the start page, you click on Director, and then you enter the password. This is always Director. Then the virtual machine opens up a desktop. Now this will look a little bit different from your normal Windows desktop, but it pretty much works the same. You'll be running the simulation through this desktop. And be sure to see our other tutorials on using the Simulcranium player for more information. When you see this, you know that you have successfully installed VirtualBox and the Simulacranium player.